Hello, in this video we're going to go over these three sums. The first sum is sum of n choose k where k goes from 1 to n, sum of k n choose k, k, go, k equals 1 to n, sum of k squared n choose k, k equals 1 to n. So we would like to find formulas for these sums. In the first part of the um, solution, I'm going to provide you with a solution that requires a little bit of calculus and differentiation. If you aren't familiar with differentiation, stick around to the uh, second part of the video where I will show you a solution without any uh, any calculus knowledge. Okay, although the first part of this problem can be done without calculus. Okay, so the, if you look at the first one, that's the sum of the binomial coefficients. We are going to write down the binomial formula. So 1 plus x to the power of n is equal to the sum k equals 0 to n and choose k x to the power of k. If you replace x by 1, then you're going to get the sum that you want. So you get 2 to the n equals the sum k equals 0 to n and choose k. The sum that they gave us starts from 1, so I'll just subtract n choose 0, which is 1. So the sum n choose k, k equals 1 to n, is going to be 2 to the n minus n choose 0, which is 1. So that's the first sum. In order to find the second sum, what I notice is that the k here has been brought down as a coefficient. So that reminds me of the idea of differentiation. So we're going to differentiate, I will call that star, differentiate star to obtain. So we're going to get n times 1 plus x to the power of n minus 1 equals the sum. When you differentiate the very first term when k is 0, it's going to be 0. So I'll, I'll just start from 1 to n. And then we get k and choose k, x to the power of k minus 1. Now, if I substitute x equals 1, I would get n times 2 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to the sum k equals 1 to n, k, and choose k. And let me call this sum double star. So that's exactly what they ask us to find. Finally, the last sum would be possible to evaluate if you differentiate again. However, if you differentiate again, k minus 1 comes to the front. We don't want that. We want k to come to the front. We will multiply double start by x and then we're going to differentiate. So multiplying double start by x and differentiating, we obtain this. So nx1 plus x to the power of n minus 1 is equal to the sum k equals 1 to n, k n choose k, x to the power of k. So at this point, I just multiplied both sides by x. Then we're going to differentiate. We get n1 plus x to the power of n minus 1 plus nx n minus 1, 1 plus x to the power of n minus 2 is equal to the sum k squared n choose k, x to the power of k minus 1, k goes from 1 to n. Now we are going to substitute x by 1, and you're going to end up with n to the power of n minus 1 plus n times n minus 1 to the power of n minus 2. That is the sum that they ask us to find. Okay, so the answer is n times 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus n times n minus 1 to the power of n minus 2. Let me give you a second solution. So this is solution number 2, which doesn't require any knowledge of calculus, and it's also an, a more interesting solution in my opinion. We are going to employ the two-way counting method. So we will use the two-way counting method. So what is the two-way counting method? What it is is we are going to up we are going to count one object in two different ways. 
one way gives you one side of the equality the other way gives you the other side of the equality and therefore these two must be the same and that gives you the identity that we want for the first part we will count the number of subsets of a set of size n let a be a set of size n 1 2 all the way to n the number of subsets of a is 2 to the power of n since every element either belongs to a subset either belongs or does not belong to a subset of a so every element has two possibilities either it is in the subset or it is not in the subset that's why the number of subsets would be two to the power of n now the number of subsets of size k is n choose k therefore these two must be the same if you take the sum of n choose k, that should give you all of the subsets. That should give you the number of subsets of uh, the set uh, A. Okay, so that's the first part. For the second part, we will have to choose a set that counts the sum of k times n choose k. So here's what we're going to do. Set this set, um, I guess I'll call that B, that chooses one element and one subset in a way that a is in the set s and s is a subset of a there are n possibilities for a there are n uh, possible elements a for each one of them, the number of possible subsets S is 2 to the power of n minus 1. So A is in that subset and then every other element could be either in the subset or not in the subset. Thus, the size of B is so a has n possibilities s has 2 to the power of n minus 1 possibilities so this would be the size of b now we are going to evaluate the size of b in a different way by fixing s so on the other hand if s has k elements then there are n choose k possibilities for s and k possible elements a so that tells us that the size of this set b is the sum k times n choose k k equals 1 to n and therefore these two numbers must be the same therefore the sum k times n choose k must be the same as n times 2 to the power of n minus 1 k equals 1 to n for the third part of the problem what we're going to do is we're going to do something similar except that we choose two elements and one subset so set c equals a comma b comma s such that a and b are in s and s is a subset of a first we're going to choose a and b if a and b are the same then there are n possibilities for a equals b and 
2 to the power of n minus 1 possibilities for s because again it's a subset that contains a and it could have any of the other elements if a is not b then there are n times n minus 1 possibilities for the pair a comma b and 2 to the power of n minus 2 possibilities for s therefore the size of c becomes So we had n times 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus n times n minus 1 times 2 to the power of n minus 2. Now we will choose s and then we choose a and b. s can be chosen in n choose k ways if s has k elements. A and B can be chosen in k squared ways. Thus, the size of C is in fact the sum k goes from 1 to n, k squared n choose k. And therefore, these two things must be the same. Therefore, sum of k squared n choose k k goes from 1 to n is the same as n to the power of n minus 1 plus n n minus 1 2 to the power of n minus 2 and that should be the same thing as what we got before and that in fact is the same thing this brings me to the end of this video. If you liked this video, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel where you can find more videos like this. My focus is on math competitions, so I will do a lot of videos on math competitions and how to prepare for math competitions. So I will see you in the next video.